Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be doing a couple things on Windfall, the couple final things that we have to do on Windfall, and then, you know what, we are going to be going into the Wind Temple. Um, Makar is still sitting on our ship from the last episode, you guys. It's kind of, kind of crazy. Let's talk to this lady, though. Well, what do you think about my outfit? You don't see clothes like this often, do you? Aren't they so cute? A friend of mine lives on Outset Island sent the outfit to me. She's an amazing girl. She can put jars on her head and walk around like it's nothing at all. You've seen it. You have to see it to believe it. All right. Um. All right. If we talk to her again, she'll say, hey, I've had something on my mind ever since that pictographer who lives here in the red brick building told me about my fortune. He told me that if I send a beautiful pictograph of myself to the one who has captured my heart, true love will blossom in return. So she wants us to take a pictograph of her and give it to somebody who loves her essentially um and we've already we've already figured out who loves her so we just need to take the picture of her and save it and then go give it to there he is he's over here let's talk to this guy and you know what we're gonna show him we're gonna we're gonna show him the picture here we're gonna show him his lady here you go Oh, a pictograph, eh, buddy? Ah, this girl. Actually, buddy, this is the girl I've had my eye on lately. Wow, she really is that pretty. I mean, just seeing this pictograph reminds me of how gorgeous that girl really is. Oh no, I'll never be happy with just a mere pictograph. Never! That's it. I made my, I've made my decision. I'm going to get that girl to go out with me. It's got to be done, buddy. All right, so he is going to go ask her out on a date. That is all we really wanted to do with that. We are going to have to wait a day and then go visit the um, cafe during the day and they will be there together. But we also want to do this really quickly. Um, we want to come over to this guy and because I have so many dang rupees, um, I'm going to get one big catch flag. Yep. And now I'm going to buy a whole bunch of other stuffs um you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of town flowers and I'm gonna decorate the whole town with them just because um, we have to decorate the town you know we just we have to um oh our bag is full already how's that huh let me look does not look like our bag is full but that's okay looks like we'll just go and use them we want to put the big catch flag here so he has two big catch flags in front of his store. That doesn't really matter, but I just like to I like to do that. There is a flower there. Ooh, and a flower there. You are going to want to just put flowers into every little pedestal that you can find in the entire town. That is literally what this side quest is. So I will um I will probably speed this ep um this little part up just so you guys can see where all of the pedestals are. But you don't have to watch me going around to like every single one and having it take forever. So let me speed it up, you guys. All right, hold on. Um, I was speeding it all up, and then I remembered something. You want to either take a Postman statue or a Shop Guru statue. I'm going to take two Postman statues. You only need one, but I like to make things even. So I'm going to buy two Postman statues, and what you're going to want to do is put these on top of the gate. Um, I do believe that this will give you something a little bit special if you go and talk to a particular NPC, but I guess we'll see that, won't we? Um, here we go. There's one. There's the other one. And also their wings flap, which is kind of cool. See? <laughs> oh, that's pointless knowledge. But there you go, you guys. I'm going to speed up the rest of this.
All right, guys, so while I'm in here, I just want to do this really fast. Um, we have 10 of those and 20 of those, so let's give it to this guy, and he will actually make us some different potions. I'm not going to be using these potions. I just figured I'd show that um, we, we could make them just, just for the 100% aspect of the game. Wait, you don't have enough? 15, oh, whoops. Okay, so we need five more of those, um, but we can get those later. Um, there we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him the 20. Here it comes. Oh, oh, oh! That is it. Okay. All right, so he'll make us a green potion. And this is gonna take a second, sorry. I didn't know that there was a little cutscene here. Actually, I totally forgot. Um, can we skip it? No, we can't. I tried. I tried, you guys. It doesn't work. Can't skip! What the heck? It is ready at last. All right, and this is a green potion. It will reheal all of your magic power. Um, not very useful, but now it's for sale. You can buy it whenever you wish. So I figured I'd just show that off you guys. Um, sorry, I couldn't get the blue ones just yet. I have to wait until I have 15 it seems. So anyway, continue sped up footage so I can complete this freaking side quest, which is annoying. Alright you guys, so this is finally the last couple flowers that I'm going to need to place in the entire city. That literally took me 20 minutes to do. I'm hoping, I'm going to, I'm probably going to speed that up by like 500% because gosh dang it took so dang long. Also, I might note, or I'm going to note that um, you don't have to spend any extra money on like the fancier decorations if you don't want to. I, I like to put the post, or the um, what is it called? The shop guru statue in um, the rich people's house because it's gold. Like, you don't have to do the postman statues on top of the gate either. Um, apparently it only nets you 50 rupees, so I actually wasted 150 rupees there. But whatever. Not a big deal. Um, after we're all done with that though, we want to go talk to this guy. Wow, Windfall just seems to be filled with joy lately, don't you think? Say, you wouldn't have been cooperating with the volunteers, have you? You know what I'm talking about? Decorating the town? Oh really, you have? Wow, it fails me to amaze how kinds of, uh, yeah, whatever. He's going to give us a piece of heart. There we go. Also, there is one more thing that I want to do here. Um, and I think that's it, dude, for Windfall. I think we're gonna be completely done. Stop talking to me, please. Um, once we are done here. And this actually, I kept saying that it doesn't matter. You don't need skull necklaces, blah, 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 but apparently you do. I did not know this, actually. Um, it's just, it's new to the Wind Waker HD. It wasn't in the original Wind Waker. That's probably why I wasn't aware of this particular thing here. Um, but what you want to do, um, if you want to make this easier, do what I'm doing. T 
take the pigs, throw them off the farthest edge you can possibly find to the island, and that is that. That will make what I'm about to do a lot easier. Believe me. There we go. Um, yeah, it, it will just it will make everything a little bit easier because the pigs swim very very slowly, um, but they run pretty quick, like that. Um, I hope he doesn't get back on land before I get up to this guy. Um, you want to talk to this guy here? And now I said some about skull necklaces and how pointless that they were. Um, well, I was totally wrong. If we give this guy some skull necklaces, he will be very impressed with us. Three of them, give him three. And he was going to let you play this piggy sitting game. Now, you have to beat it within two minutes. Um, yeah, there we go. All right, so... We have officially started the game. Here is the first one. What you're going to want to do is just run up to him and drop them right in front of him. And also they fart because it's it's funny. They farting. Um. Alright. So there is the first one. The second one should be up here. Oh, apparently they fixed the glitch in the Wind Waker HD. Um, there used to be a glitch that if you threw them in the ocean, they would be swimming on land. And therefore could not, um run away from you it was great and you could just run up to them and it made it a lot faster but now I have to crawl to get them that's okay though we want to be able to beat this within um two minutes now that doesn't seem very hard I think I'm actually going to do it first try here let's just grab this last pig and set it right down in front of him like so there we go that is the third one now I sh we should win a treasure chart this is only in the Twilight Princess, or not Twilight Princess, Wind Waker HD. Um, but yeah, that is all that you have to do on Windfall. I think this guy, if we talk to him, he, is this the guy? No, it can't be. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, so if we put the Postman statues on top of the gate there like I did, and we talk to that guy, he will give us... 50 rupees. That, it's, it's just a little neat trick, I guess, if you need some, or whatever. If you want to waste a 50 rupees, I guess, because he only gives you 100, or 50, and they cost 100, so pretty much just wasting money there. But you know what, whatever. Let's actually go and do the meat of this episode now. I'm sorry that all of that took so dang long. Actually, I'm not sure how long it took for you guys. It took 25 minutes for me, though. Um, I'm probably gonna record to around 50 minutes in this episode. Probably? I don't- it depends, it depends. Um, on how I'm feeling. Cause right now I'm feeling kind of worn out, but hopefully that will go away once we enter this little area up here. Now this, we've already been to, this is the Isle of- Gale Isle, is what it's called, actually. I almost called it Isle of Winds. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so let's walk up to it, or sail up to it, rather. Um, same, he says, same as the case of Medley. We have to just get Makar to the boss room, kill the boss, and our Master Sword will power up. So what we're gonna want to do is, let's just roll on over to here. Let's play the song. There's no one nearby to play the music. He's right there. Don't make fun of him because he's slow. Oh, game, please. Oops, I'm playing the wrong song. Sorry about that. Um, let's play the song, though. We will get a cool little cutscene that happens right here. Yeah, it's kind of short. It's just a shortened version of the original cutscene, which was great. I absolutely love the song, man. Like, that song that Makar plays while Link is directing him inside of the Forest Haven literally makes this game worth buying to me. It's so good. I just love it. Alright, so Makar goes first, just like Medley went first. Link follows. Interesting how that works, isn't it? You'd think the hero would follow, or, um, go first, but nope. Not in Link's case, he's very selfish. Alright, but in all seriousness, you guys, let me get geared up real fast. What I'm gonna want is those, those, and that. Actually, that. There we go. 
We don't really need the skull hammer here. I'm gonna jump down here. And there's going to be a bad guy. I'm gonna freeze him. Um. There he goes, jeez. Alright, so now if we come over this way, we're actually going to get one of these guys. Now, I'm just going to take these guys on normally. Or this one, there's only one. Um, because, well, he's not that difficult. There he goes, and he's dead. And now that should... Oh, it doesn't? What? I swore that spawned a chest. Um, but it seems that it does not. Also, I'm going to get this thing just in case I die. Um, we'll have a little warping spot there. It'll just be useful, probably. Um, so what you want to do is these things, if you wear your iron boots, they will drop down, and then you can spring upward and kind of control your movement, but not very much. Um, after that, though, now what we want to do is we want to play the command melody, which goes like this. One of my least favorite songs in the entire game. And you have to play it so dang much, dude. I just, I don't know, man. Not my favorite. Alright, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to be Makar. You can fly. You can actually fly up this time, like straight up. Whereas with Medley, you kind of like couldn't. You had to like fly forward and up. Oh, so I guess there's a little difference there. Not much though. Alright, so let's do A two times. I don't know why I went back up there, because this will actually spawn in a chest. Albeit, it's not a very important chest. I think it's the dungeon map or something like that. It's still kind of, um, useful. Um, let's go this way, though. And we should drop right onto that switch. Oh, I was, dude, and it I messed up. It's okay. Let's just leave Makar there. Let's take off our boots, and let's drop down here. Let's see what's inside this chest. Oh, oh, dang, it's an orange rupee. I really thought that was not going to be that, but after all the money I just spent, that's actually very... Very helpful to us. All right, so now we want to come over here. Let's do that, and at the top of our jump, let's just hit the leaf button, and let's fly right on over. And drop down. And now in here, there's gonna be a little bit of magic. You can get some of the magic that you lost back. Let's carry Makar through this door. And then let's go over here. These guys will spawn in, go right behind them. You don't have to shoot their eye if you don't feel like it. I generally don't shoot the eye. I just go behind them. And that works for me. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think we can get up there just. Yet. Um, sorry, I'm kind of all over the place again. I do think a lot. Um, there is a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure, but we don't have the. Uh, proper equipment just yet you'll see later let's drop my car here and again we're going to need to play this freaking song again there are so many times in this particular dungeon you have to play this song and this is actually the reason I don't like this particular dungeon it's just because the song man it's the song you have to play it so much and my car moves so slow like if you had had to play the song this much in the Earth Temple, I would have been fine with that. Medley moves a lot faster than Makar. Makar just moves so slow, man. It's annoying. All right, so now we are stuck in this room. What you're gonna want to do is this is when the temple actually gets a little bit interesting. In the Earth Temple, you had the option to get Medley caught and um, go back for her if you wanted to, or I mean, occasionally you had to if you did get caught, but here, this is a little different from the Earth Temple. We have no choice in the matter. What we want to do is we want to just grow all the seeds here. And at the very top, if we grow this final seed, all right, after we grow that seed, the door will open, both doors will open, four hands will come out, they will grab Makar, and instantly carry him away. There's no way you can possibly save him there. It's kind of, it sucks, but I mean, it's a thing, so yeah. Also, if you guys remember, um, I was talking a long, long, long time ago about there's going to be a much easier place 
Gosh dang it. To um, get golden feathers. That is going to be here, actually, in this temple. These guys are everywhere, dude. It's actually kind of annoying. Luckily, I don't need any golden feathers. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna kill them. I mean, I really didn't need to. And we've seen these guys before. I don't need to explain what they are. Or how to kill them. But yeah, these guys are literally all over the place. It's so dang annoying, man. Okay, that was close, actually. I almost got hit there. Alright, so, there's a floor, ha floor master here. Take him out. Oh, what? I thought after you action commanded them, they died. Apparently it's two action commands, I forgot. Whoopsies. Um, he will take you back into this main room. Luckily, we're only one room array, so it's not that big of a deal. Just roll straight forward. Ow. Also, this dungeon is extremely large, so having to play that song that many times and between its giganticness, it just gets a little bit annoying. All right. Let's blow that open. There's going to be another hand over here. We don't need to worry about this one as much, though. Um, I'm pretty sure you could just do this. Oh, you can't. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Of course. Why would I not be wrong? I don't know. Let's let's go over here, though. I know you can do this one. Boing! There we are. Oh, really? Dang it, dude. Oh, that was great. All right. Let's take off our shoes, bounce on up. There we go. Inside this chest, there should be a joy pendant. You know what? I'll grab it just for the sake of grabbing it. Yep, joy pendant. We don't need any more of those for the rest of the game. Literally, we are so done with joy pendants. Um, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that thing. It just kind of blows, blows that back into place. I'm blocking out the floor masters so they can't get to me. Actually, that pointless. I don't know why I did that. Alright, but over here, just drop onto the switch. We'll open this thingy my bobber. Just leaf on over to this way. Over to this way. I say that all the time, man, I think. And I don't know why. It doesn't even make that much sense. Let's kill that guy, the whiz robe there. We're gonna have plenty of him um, in this dungeon. There is a lot of whiz robes. Also, there's a limited time whiz robe, too, if you want to take all the pictures in the game for that Nintendo gallery. Oh, please. Please tell me I can do this. It's not working. It's not working. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to climb these vines and I'll meet you guys back. There. I messed up. All right, so we're back up here. I um, I just pushed the wrong button. Whoops. Also, this dungeon is a pain in the literal butt if you don't have the extended magic meter because you're gonna have to fly around a lot. Um, but if we fly directly straight forward, we will eventually come into this little room here and we will get a <gasps> dungeon map, which you guys can't even see. So I don't know why I grabbed it, but 100% completion means 100% completion. So I felt it was my duty. All right, anyway, let's fly this way. Um, I might be running a little low on magic here. I'm gonna go backwards, um, right to here. Hopefully there's some magic in this grass. Nice, there is some magic in the grass. Um, no drug references here. Thanks, goodbye, I'm just kidding. All right, so, let's fly through this gate. Now this one, you're gonna want a lot of magic for because, well, reasons. There we go. And after you land up here, there, there's some more magic as well as some arrows. Boom! Can't see. Did I hit him? Oh, I didn't. I missed. I can't really see that well, but you know what? We're just gonna we're gonna dodge all the guys. We're just gonna. Ooh, there we go. That was close, whiz robe. Die, sucker! Oh, that was sick, dude. That was actually really cool. I'm, I'm happy that I did that for some reason. 
Damn. No, come on. Stop dodging my arrows, please. Boom, get wrecked. Come on, get wrecked, dude. There you go. It's wrecked enough for me. All right. There's no real reason to do that. I just had fun, I guess. Yeah, killing things is fun. It's not, really, though. It's not. All right. So, we have this gigantic thing opening up here. I actually um, didn't mention this for that particular reason. Um, But if we leaf on over to here... We will somehow leap off the air, I guess. That's, that was interesting. Um, open this chest and we should be getting the compass here. Yep. All right. Now I'm gonna check just to make sure I haven't missed anything quite yet. Um, it doesn't seem as though I have. Um, nope, I don't think so. Nothing that we could get just yet though. Um, there we are. So we want to jump all the way down here. I mean, yeah, that was kind of obvious, right? All right, so let's go this way. Now this room is interesting. There is a way if you um if you're good at timing like jump attacks and bombs and stuff, you can actually just totally skip this entire room if you're not 100%ing it. I'll see if I can show it off here. You want to wait until it starts growing and jump. Oh, I messed up super hardcore right there. All right, so you want to be in this corner as much as possible. And eventually the bomb will start growing and jump attack. Oh, I almost got it right there. All right, let's see if I can try one more time. All right, it'll start growing. There it is. And then just jump over there and yeah, it's called a bomb jump. And um, it will completely get rid of the spikes once you grab this thing. Um, I really just didn't want to hear all that crap. So that's why I did it. There was no real other reason than that. Um, but that is the correct one if you just want to do it normally. You just um, go through this particular square here. This is an interesting room. I'm not really sure how to describe it necessarily. Um, but what you want to do after you fall down here, you want to open up all of the little square things. Otherwise, you won't be able to get something else. There is a hidden chest in this room so we're gonna we're gonna do that obviously and what we're going to do is no I'm just kidding um we're gonna push these box extremely slowly and then jump up over here take out your boots you have to do this literally every single time and it's really annoying it takes forever and it's really annoying it takes forever I'm gonna see if I can break the block without falling down. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a thing. That's okay though. Um, here it will drop in a whole bunch of green shoes. I'm gonna wait until they all pop up again. Just spin attack them. Um, well because I'm not really low on magic. Also, I don't need to grab those. What am I doing? I've already gotten the potion. Literally, that one green potion is all that that um the green chew jellies do. That's all that any of the chew jellies do really. All right, let's put this away. Pop on up. Yeah, this is a very self-explanatory um, little area, sort of. Kind of interesting, though. In order to get the treasure chest, there is a treasure chart and treasure chest. It's like, yeah, whatever. Um, it's a little different. You just have to keep going down all of the things. I think they actually nerfed this area, I think. It doesn't seem like it's as difficult. I used to think, I thought there was like four of those hand guys and more green shoes. I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Well, let's drop down here though. Now these guys will come to life. What you're gonna wanna do is just go around them, hit their backs again, of course, like always. Ow, gosh dang, dude. There we go. That will kill them. And finally, what we're gonna have to do one more time is just pop on up and go into that far one. Now this one, I actually forgot the enemies that spawn in here once we do this. Oh, well that spawns. That's interesting. All right, and what are the enemies? Just red shoes, yeah, I thought that was right. I wasn't sure and I didn't want to like be incorrect. 
All right, but now that we um, now that we have gotten that treasure chest to spawn, we can just leave. Well, I mean, we want to get the treasure chest, of course, but we could just leave. Besides that, there we go. I think this will have a treasure chart in it. Pretty sure it does. I'm like 98% sure that it does. Dun, 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 dun. You got the treasure chart. Yay. Okay. In all seriousness, though, that is kind of awesome. I think this one leads to a heart con or a heart piece as well. I might be wrong about that also. My knowledge is pretty rusty about this temple because I don't like it that much. Um, we've been, I've been recording for like 43 minutes though, you guys. You know... I'm gonna do this one last room, and then I think I'm going to end it off after here. Um, huh? is this the room I'm thinking it is? I think it is. Yeah, it is. Alright, so in this room, there is going to be a limited time photo opportunity. One time only, you can take a picture of this guy. Um, if you care about the Nintendo Gallery, just note that. He is actually going to spawn more enemies. That is interesting. He's also a mini-boss, so... Yeah, he's actually probably one of my favorite mini-bosses of the entire game. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Can't see. I'm on fire. Did I get him? I didn't. I missed. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I just want to take him out. Otherwise, he will keep spawning in enemies. And it gets really annoying. There he is. Ooh. Oh, he's not spawning any enemies now? Where is he? There he is. Um, if he's on the ground like this, just, um, just, just jump attack him, because it'll make him easier to kill. But if he's up there, I like to shoot fire arrows, they do a little more damage. Oh, dang it, I hit the dark nut. That was interesting. Um... Ooh, get wrecked! Alright, so now that he's dead, I can actually take out these guys without any problems. Um, yeah, really it's not that big of a deal anymore, this room. That guy really makes it difficult though. He will eventually start, like, if you kill the enemies in here, that's why I wasn't doing it. If you kill the enemies, um, he will spawn in, like, fire keys and stuff, and they just do work to you, man. It, it can get really really intense really quickly but now we have one of my favorite zelda items of all time you guys we are about to get what are we about to get you might be asking well we are about to get the grapple hook shot beam <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> the grapple hook shot beam huh? Oh, jeez, man. I amaze myself sometimes. Alright, but... Now we can actually grapple onto stuff, which is actually a useful thing. We're going to need to use this item probably more than almost all the other items combined in the game. Besides the arrows and bombs. So... Oh, and Deku Leaf. You need that, like, literally all the time. It's very helpful. But yeah. So, um, I'm going to end the episode off right here, you guys. I do hope you did enjoy. If you did, stick around for the next one. Have a good day, of course. Well, I mean, that also extends into the evening, afternoon, nighttime, while you're asleep. All of the things, man. I don't care if you're awake. Just have a have a good sleep if you want. Like, obviously you want to, because sleeping is amazing. But, yeah. Anyway, you guys, I will see you hopefully in the next episode. We are going to be taking on, hopefully, the rest of this temple and yeah anyway without further ado Antebeck is signing off and I do hope you guys have a good day again do whatever makes you happy and I will see you in the next one I bet right because I thought I was funny right and I repeat myself a lot and that's that's a cool thing to do I'm just kidding anyway guys I'm actually signing off now I'm apologizing that this took so gosh dang long anyway peace out